Okay, let me quickly show you how to make your first document. So if you go to the address overleaf.com, uh, you will get to a website that looks like this. You may have to sign in on and create an account. And then you just click on new project. You can see you can make academic journals, books, formal letters, quite a few templates exist. We're just going to make a blank, blank project for now. So my doc. And as soon as I do that, the document loads up. So the first thing that you should know is the whole screen is split up into three. On the left hand side, you see main.tech. This is where all the files will appear that you will use in the document. For example, images, image files that you want to include, you can upload here with the upload button. And you can see main.tech is the file that we're looking at now, if it appears in the second column. This second column is where the actual code lives. So if I just zoom in there a bit, you can see it, um, it, got, it's, it, it contains a bit of code. And I'll talk you through the code in a second. On the right hand side here, we have the PDF that is generated when we compile. So you'll see there's a big compile button here, and this is the code. And all I'm gonna do real quick is talk you through this. This code, this um, code here is split up into two sections. The first section contains the configuration of the file. You will see in, in later on when we get to more complicated files, there will be quite a bit of configuration. And then from begin document to end document contains the actual stuff that you want to display. So in the configuration, uh, the first line just says what type of document this is. When we change the template, we will typically change this to different types of documents. Um, this line you can ignore. And then this here, as you can see, uh, all of these codes, all of these things here has a backslash. That's called an escape code. That tells LaTeX, what I'm giving you now is a keyword that's supposed to give information into um, the LaTeX compiler. So this says, the title of my document is whatever is between the curly braces. So backslash title says, I'm telling you something. The title says, I'm telling you the title. So title is a word that LaTeX understands. And it says, my first LaTeX doc, I can change this to my new title. Just type it. When I press Control S or click Recompile, you will see now the PDF will change and now it will say my new title. Just zooming into this again, I can also change the author. So author is another keyword that LaTeX understands. If I press Control S or click on Recompile, it now changes the title, at least the author, to Tinas. Then getting to the begin document, this is really where the the meat, the, 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 the essence of your document lives. Um, the first thing that we do here is we say make title. I'm just going to show you real quick how to do a comment. If you want to leave a comment in the code for someone else to read or for you to read later, you can say I still need to do something here. That's all good. And if I press Control S, that does not appear here. So this is a comment in the code. And when you say percentage, LaTeX ignores everything else that's in that, in that line. For example, if you want to leave out the title now, you can just put a percentage there and LaTeX will ignore what's in the rest of the line. You can see it turns blue. And if I press Control S, you'll see now suddenly we don't have a title anymore. The title and the author and the date have disappeared. Let's just put them back. All right, the next thing is we see the word section. So this says we're starting with a section. If you're writing a book, you'll see something here called backslash chapter. But because we have an article, the first thing that appears is a section. So I can change this to um, context or whatever. And then what you'll see is the heading title here of that section changes to context. Then I can also type stuff. So typing types. And I can add a subsection. You can see all the options pop up as you start typing. Type a sub subsection. And I'm choosing the subsection is contribution. And you can do the same with adding another section, uh, backslash section, lit survey. And I can type some the some text as well the contribution and literally i can type um, the state of 
the art, blah, blah, blah. There we go. And if I press Control S now, you'll see a few things change. So suddenly we've added a subsection. Oh, I see I've typed sub subsection. Apologies. Subsection. Um, the contribution is now 1.1. And the text that I typed, without any special codes or anything, are just appearing as normal text in the document. I've also added a new section called Lit Survey by just using the word section and then adding some words there. If you wanted to add another sentence, you can follow it up here. Or you can add it in a new line. Or here. If I press Control S, you'll see there's a new sentence here or here. And if you want to add a new paragraph, you skip a line, keep an open line in the code, new paragraph, and now it will add an indentation to indicate new paragraph. You can also skip or force it to skip a line by using double backslash, and then it will force it to open a new line in the PDF, as you can see here. So that's your first document, and from here you should be able to actually write quite a bit.